In this video, we will discuss about electrochemical gas sensors for detection of sulfur dioxide. First, let us see what are electrochemical gas sensors. These are the devices that interacts with the analyte gas electrochemically and producing electrical signal, which is proportional to the concentration of analyte gas. This type of sensors are used for the detection of various gases, mainly to detect air pollutants like carbon monoxide, nitrogen dioxide, nitrogen oxide, and sulfur dioxide. Now let us see the construction of gas sensors for the detection of sulfur dioxide. This gas sensor contains the container filled with electrolyte. Usually 0.5 molar sulfuric acid is used as the electrolyte. The main role of the electrolyte is to transport charge within the sensor and to contact all electrodes effectively. Then it is immersed to be the three electrodes, sensing electrode or the working electrode, which is made up of gold coated with nephion. This will facilitate the redox reaction of analyte gas on the surface. Next one, reference electrode, which is made up of silver silver chloride. This electrode is placed close to the sensing electrode. This electrode maintains the same fixed voltage at the sensing electrode. And the last one, counter electrode, which is made up of platinum. And it is used to complete the circuit. And the working electrode and the reference electrode is connected to voltmeter. And these electrodes are connected to counter electrode via emitter. The sensing electrode is attached with the gas permeable hydrophobic membrane. It allows sulfur dioxide gas flow into the sensors and restricts the penetration of moisture. So let us see the working. Here, the sulfur dioxide enters to the sensor through the hydrophobic membrane and gets adsorbed on the surface of working electrode. When suitable voltage is applied to the working electrode using the reference electrode, then it will oxidize sulfur dioxide to generate an electrical current, which is proportional to the concentration of the gas. So sulfur dioxide gets oxidized with the working electrode to, to produce sulfate ions and protons and generates an electrical current. And this is the oxidation reaction where the electrons are liberated. And uh, by measuring the current uh, flowing between the sensing electrode and the counter electrode, the concentration of sulfur dioxide can be determined. 